In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the Amazon Properties page. This page is used to manage all of the Amazon related attributes of a product. The Merchant SKU, also known as the Seller SKU, is the means by which Amazon identifies a product. By default, the Merchant SKU and the Seller Cloud Product ID will be the same. But in some cases, you may want to have a different value for the Merchant SKU, since Amazon doesn't give any option to edit it. The FN SKU is an identifier used by Amazon Fulfillment Centers to identify each unique product. The FN SKU is printed on labels for every product and is how Amazon identifies every unit you ship to them as belonging to you. ASINs are Amazon's unique blocks of 10 characters that are used to identify Amazon listings. For each product published on Amazon, there is only one ASIN to which all sellers attach their listing. The ASIN displays on Amazon in the product details. In the Fulfilled By field, you can view whether your product is set to be fulfilled by the merchant or Amazon. The fulfillment method will default to what has been set in the company settings on the Amazon Product Defaults page. To change it at the product level, open the Action menu and click Change Fulfilled By. A page will open where you will need to confirm the change and you can choose whether or not to update the product status on Amazon. Amazon label formats can be selected for items that are stored and fulfilled by FBA. These formats include labels for individual units, as well as several formats for case labels. For example, if you are sending a kit to FBA, you can use case label B to print a label instructing Amazon not to break up the kit. Labels can be printed from the action menu here, or when creating the FBA inbound shipment. The Amazon safety quantity is a quantity value that you can set to be reserved from available quantity, thereby sending a lower inventory count to Amazon. This is typically used to prevent overselling the last unit sold on multiple channels. The Amazon available quantity refers to the current quantity available for sale on Amazon. By default, the quantity shown here will match the aggregate quantity displayed on the product summary page. However, as we will see in a moment, setting a max quantity or a fixed quantity will cause the Amazon available quantity to match those values and not that of the actual aggregate quantity. When you check the enable max inventory quantity, a field will display where you can set a maximum quantity to be displayed on the Amazon listing so that it will never show the full quantity even when there are really more available. Setting a max quantity may improve sales because the customer may think that there are only limited units available and may be motivated to buy now rather than wait until the product sells out. For example, if there are 500 units available for a specific product and the inventory max quantity is set to 10, a quantity of 10 will be sent to Amazon. But if the available quantity drops to 5, only a quantity of 5 will be sent to Amazon. Before inventory max quantity can be set on a specific product, it first needs to be enabled and set on the company level. For example, when enabled on a company level with inventory max quantity set to 10, all products will default to 10. By setting the inventory max quantity on an individual product to a quantity of 5, only a quantity of 5 will be sent to Amazon, while the quantity of 10 will be sent for all other products. The max quantity on a product level can also be set to a higher quantity than what is set on the company level. Once the max quantity is set, the available quantity will display a value of 5, and will decrease only when the actual aggregate quantity falls beneath that value. The replenishable and Amazon fixed quantity fields work together. When a product is marked as replenishable, it will remain available for sale on Amazon, even if the available quantity is zero. While your listing may post, it will appear to the customer as unavailable unless a quantity is provided. Using a fixed quantity, SellerCloud will always post the listing on Amazon using the set fixed quantity value. This can be set either on a company level using the default quantity setting or here on the product level. Once the fixed quantity is set, the available quantity will always display the same value as the fixed quantity. In the lead time to ship field, enter a value here to allow more time for shipping. For example, when set to five days, 
it will appear on Amazon with a message like, usually ships within four to five business days. The package quantity is the number of the same product packaged in that listing. For example, if you are selling a case of five packages of pens, the package quantity would be five. The number of items refers to the number of distinct items included in the product you are offering for sale as one product. For example, if you are selling a case of five packages of pens and each package contains 12 pens, the number of items would be 60. Enabling the Allow Gift Wrap option allows a customer to select gift wrap for this specific product. The gift wrap types available are set on a company level at Seller Central. Checking Allow Gift Message allows the customer to enter a gift message for this particular product. Amazon requires that a product condition be selected. In this field, you can enter a title for the product that would appear on the Amazon listing. If nothing is entered, the title will default to the regular product title. The MAP price is the lowest advertising price allowed by the manufacturer. Checking the Enable Price Update will allow you to make an instant price update through the Action menu. The Amazon price defaults to the product site price. You can change that by unchecking the Use Default checkbox and entering a different price. You can also configure a special price for a specified date range so that Amazon will display the discounted price as a promotion during that time. When using third-party repricing feeds, the quantity set in the Stop Loss Price field will be the floor price, or the lowest price to which a listing can fall. The max price is the highest price to which your listing can rise. Commission refers to the percentage of the sales revenue of this item that will be deducted by Amazon. The information entered here is only for internal knowledge and has no bearing on the actual commission deducted on an order. If you have an account set up with Channel Max to manage repricing on Amazon, you can check the Include in CM Feed checkbox to include this product in the feed to Channel Max. When this item is stored at FBA, you will be able to select which fulfillment center it is at. Fulfillment center names can be added to the dropdown by an administrator or by Seller Cloud support. To override shipping prices that were set up in your Amazon Seller Central account, you need to enable Ship Override and select an Amazon shipping template here. Shipping override and templates are discussed in another video tutorial. For more information on Amazon properties, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.